Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for our Healer Within Practice uh, live practice sampler here on Facebook. We're really happy to be bringing you these live practice sessions. Um, they're a way of, of keeping our community connected during this time and keeping everybody moving and, and hopefully healthy. For more online practice opportunities, please check out our virtual practice group or VPG list at our website, which is healerwithinfoundation.org. Um, under the practice group tabs at the top of the homepage, you'll find that uh, virtual practice group list link. I'm so excited to introduce our presenter today, Oli Smith. Oli is a Chinese medicine practitioner and an IAQTC Tai Chi Easy senior trainer. He's coming to us from his home in Durango, Colorado today, and we're super excited to have him lead us in a, a fun Qigong practice. You can find out more about Oli and register for his online sessions through our VPG list or at his website, which is openheartacupuncture.com. You can also email him at openheartacupuncture at gmail.com. Um, we will post his contact information for your reference uh, after our time together today so that you can be sure and make connection with him. And uh, Oli, I believe we're about ready to begin. So let me just bring you up here. Hello. Thank you, Oli. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks to Christina and to the Healer Within Foundation for providing us all with this opportunity to get together and to practice. So, so let's get to it. So we can begin as we always begin with Qigong practice. It's what I consider to be the beginning, the middle and the end of Qigong practice, which is the three treasures, sometimes referred to as the three intentful corrections or the three awarenesses. And so if you'd like, I'm seated right now for the beginning here. So you're welcome to sit. You can also do this standing. So just make yourself comfortable. And if you'd like, you can close your eyes and allow your awareness to settle into the first treasure, the Jing, also known as the body. So just taking a moment to feel your alignment within gravity, to feel the sensation of the temperature of your air against your skin, the temperature of the air against your skin, and feeling the sensation of your clothes against your skin, feel your weight settling into the earth, Just taking a moment to bring our awareness into our bodies can really help us to ground into the here and now. And as you settle into the sensation of your body, you can then expand your awareness to include the second treasure, the chi, also known as the breath. So just noticing the sensation of your breath, the sensation of the movement of your breath as it moves into and through the shape of your body. You might notice how the inhale can help to expand the awareness of your body, can help to refine the alignment of your posture. You might notice how the exhale also helps you to deepen into relaxation, to deepen into the grounding. And again, expanding your awareness to include the third treasure, the Shen, or the focus of the mind. And just noticing the focus of the mind, whether the focus is on the body and the breath, whether it's on something else. It's less important what the focus of the mind is on and more just about noticing the focus of your mind wherever it is.
And so these three treasures, the Jing, Qi, and Shen, or body, breath, and mind, this is Qigong. This is Qigong practice. So whenever it occurs to you, bringing your awareness to any one of these treasures, all three of them, we're practicing Qigong. And then when you're ready, you can bring your hands together and let's just rub our hands together, massaging our hands a little bit, generating a little bit of warmth in our palms. Heat is energy. Energy is a common translation of chi. So generating some chi in the hands and then let's take a nice deep breath in together. And then exhale, shake the hands out. And rubbing the palms together again. What we're gonna do next is just gently massage our faces up and down. So hopefully all of our hands are clean. If you don't wanna to touch your actual face, you can do a chi massage just off the skin. So let's massage our faces or chi massage our faces up and down, however fast or slow you'd like to go, however much or little pressure you'd like to use. And then when you're ready from here, let's take another deep breath in shake it out rub the palms together feel the sensation of the palms breathe into the shape of your body notice the focus of your mind now let's take our fingertips and run them over our scalps and you can go front to back you can go back and forth you can do whatever you'd like I would just recommend that you explore the whole surface area of your scalp. And if there are any areas in particular that really seem to be enjoying the stimulation, then give them a little extra stimulation. Notice what your body is asking for. Give your body what it's asking for. And then notice what happens. And again, as you're ready, you can let your hands just slide down the back of your neck and come around and then a nice deep breath in and shake it out. And we can gently rub our palms together again, one more time for now. And then let's just return to the Jing, Qi and Shen, an awareness of the body, the breath and the mind. So feel the sensation of your body aligned between heaven and earth. Take a nice breath into the shape of your body. Notice how your breath moves into and through your body. And notice the focus and the quality of your mind. And whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes if they're not open already. All right, so that's something very simple that you can do anytime you'd like, whether that's just bringing your awareness to the three intentful corrections, or even if it's engaging and working with them a little bit by rubbing the hands together, by taking a nice deep breath in, by just amplifying all of that. And that's a little bit of what our practice will be about today. So the movement form that we're gonna do today, it's not actually a form, it's just something that was just made up. And uh, I, guess, I guess that's what all forms are. But this form, I just refer to it as a super simple, silly little Qigong form. And because that's what it is. The movements are very simple. Uh, there's kind of a silly little story that just helps us to remember the sequence of the movements if we wanna practice them later. And, uh, and I'm gonna be doing it standing. These movements can be done seated or standing or however most works for you. So please feel free to do that. And the purpose of this form, just like the purpose of almost all forms is to engage the principles. And to keep it very simple, we can say these principles are 
the three treasures, the body, the breath, and the focus of the mind. And so with our bodies, if we're going to apply the principle of the body to something, we can think of it as engaging our bodies and relaxing our bodies. If we think about the breath, we're inhaling and we're exhaling. And with the focus of the mind, if we're consciously engaging or relaxing, inhaling or exhaling, then we're focusing the intention of our minds. And when we do that, when we bring in that magic ingredient of intention, that really helps to bring coherence to our fields. And whether that's a field of consciousness, our field of being, our breath field and our body field and our mind field, bringing them all into coherence, which then gives us access to the Qigong state, sometimes called the expanded state. And so again, when we, when we bring intention to these practices, we amplify our fields and then the field has an opportunity to then discharge. It's just like when we engage our bodies, we can only go so far before we have nowhere else to go but relax, or we can only inhale until there's nothing else to do but to exhale, or we can focus our intention until there's nowhere else to go except to expand that focus, expand the awareness. And so again, as we amplify and discharge our field, that gives us access to these expanded states where we have access to insights and to possibilities and potentialities that we might not otherwise even be able to conceive of. And so that's how we can really take these basic principles of Qigong and access the inherent medicine that is within it, that is within us all. So there's just a little bit about that. So let's begin. I'm gonna stand up and if you're seated and you want to stand, you're welcome to do that. If you wanna remain seated, you're welcome to do that as well. So let's find a comfortable standing position. Your, he your feet can be hips width, shoulder width, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And what I like to begin with, especially during these shelter in place quarantine times is some spontaneous shaking Qigong because I feel like it's probably the best thing for all of us to do is to shake regularly. So let's begin by doing that. So just gently, you can just bounce up and down on the balls of your feet or really just do whatever you want. This is spontaneous. So your shaking doesn't have to look like my shaking, but I would, I would just encourage you to shake. Let your body move. Let your body just relax. Feel the areas where you're tense. Feel the areas where you're loose. Just let things move. You know, when children and animals have been traumatized, they will shake as a way of clearing out, of discharging their nervous systems. And I think we're all kind of experiencing some trauma with this whole thing that's going on. We can't touch our faces. We can't hug each other. We can't hardly go anywhere, or most of us can't even work, but we can shake, so let's do that. And, you know, don't worry, no one can see you, so you can get weird with it. If you close your eyes, you become even more invisible. So just continue to shake, keep going, even when you feel like you're ready to stop, that's the best time to keep going and break through, break through some walls and breathe. Maybe do some sighs and relief as you shake. So a big breath in and an audible exhale. Let's do it together. Big breath in. <sighs> shake it out. Let's do two more. Inhale. <sighs> shake it all the way out. And one more time. Big breath in. <sighs> And then just slowly let yourself start to wind down, get a little softer, a little smaller, and then even just come back to just standing and breathing and feeling the beating of your heart and the movement of your breath. Just notice how it feels to be aligned within gravity. Notice the focus of your mind. There's a lot of talk of 
post-traumatic stress and all of the post-traumatic stress that might exist after this experience. I think it's just as possible that there's going to be a lot of post-traumatic growth. I think whether or not we have stress or growth depends on how we're able to work with the whole experience and allow it to be processed and moved through as opposed to stored and stuffed and compartmentalized. So some movement, some breathing, some shaking. We're setting ourselves up for growth. So let's begin our super simple, silly little Qigong form. Inhale your arms out and up. And then exhale, let them just float down in front and come to rest at about the level of your heart. And your arms can just hang in space. And you can imagine that you're standing about waist deep in some water with a beach ball resting on the top of the water and your hands just resting on the top of the beach ball. And so we're going to work with our principles of engaging and relaxing the body, inhaling and exhaling the breath, and focusing the intention of the mind. So let's move a little bit. So on your inhale, press down on this beach ball like you're pushing it down into the water, which might require some force, and hold it. And then exhale and relax and let the ball float back up. And we're going to move like this. So inhale pressing the beach ball down, engage your body, get strong, and then exhale, relax, let it float back up. And just move at your own pace, move with your breath, engage your body as much or as little as you would like to. So inhaling, pressing down through the feet, down through the hands, reaching up through the top of the head, maybe engaging the muscles, and then exhale, bend the knees, the hand floats up, and repeat. Just nice and easy. So pumping our muscles, pumping the lymph and blood. See what areas of your body you can engage that you might not normally engage, that you might not even normally notice. Just See what you can turn on and then relax, let it go. Let it float. And again, pressing the beach ball down and relax. Let's do two more. Nice and strong and engaged and then relax, exhale, discharge. One more time, we're gonna inhale, pressing the beach ball down. And then we're going to wake up because we're dreaming. So as you exhale, bring your palms together. Your hands can float up another inhale. And then exhale, the arms out to the side. The knees can bend as much as you'd like. Palms back to back. Inhale, roll the hands up the front of the body. And exhale, like waking up from a dream. Inhaling, rolling up. And exhaling, stretching. And again, move at your pace. Make the movement however big or small. Like we're rising up, like the sun rising. Like waking up from a deep sleep. You know those times when you have a dream that you're so convinced is real? And then you wake up. And it fades away and a couple of minutes, sometimes a couple hours later, you don't even remember it. So waking up out of the dream, inhaling as we roll up, exhaling as we reach the arms out to the sides. Let's do two more. Ah. Last one. So we were dreaming, and then we woke up. So now that we're awake, let's take a shower. So inhale the arms out and up, and then exhale, wash down through the body. And inhaling, nice and strong, reaching, 
And exhale, everything just flows right through, like water off a duck's back. <sighs> you can bend your knees a little, you can bend them a lot. Just take care of yourself, stay within the comfort zone. It's like we're taking a shower. It's like we're becoming the shower. It's like when rivers return to the ocean, they become the ocean. So just washing off whatever needs to be washed off. Maybe it's, maybe it's our identifications with things, just letting it all wash away. Remembering that we are in fact the ocean, we are the sky. Two more. And then the last one, inhaling and exhale. So now we're out of the shower, so we can walk back into our rooms and let's open the curtains so the hands can come to the heart and then inhale and open the curtains wide. Exhale, big long exhale, hands to heart and inhale. Stretch. And again, inhaling, open the curtains, squeeze your shoulder blades together, engage your back and let it out. And breathe however works best for you. My breath pattern is just a recommendation. When you breathe how it works, just notice how you breathe. Breathe on purpose. Spreading the curtains wide, looking at the new day. We've all been inside so long. Imagine just opening the curtains, going outside, being outside. Two more. Last one, hands to the heart, opening the curtains, engaging the body, amplify your field, and then discharge. So our curtains are open. We look outside and we notice our neighbor, their car won't start. So let's give them a push start. So hands either side of the chest, send your hips back and let the hands reach forward and then just flow down. Knees can bend, roll yourself up, and again, hips back, hands reach forward just as far as is comfortable and rolling up. So it's almost like we're making a circle. So giving your neighbor a push and then rolling up and push and inhale yourself up. So they need several pushes, just helping our neighbor out, doing our good deed for the day, wearing gloves so that our hands will remain clean as we touch someone else's car. Maybe they have an essential job at a liquor store or marijuana dispensary. Or maybe they're a healthcare worker, a nurse, or a doctor. So sending out the love and support as you help your neighbor. Getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs. Feel free to keep your knees bent as much as they need to be. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's do two more. And last one. We give them a push. They pop their clutch and they're off on their way. So now we can wave goodbye. So one hand can float up and across. The lower hand can come with it. And then just like watching clouds, except the palms are facing out. So we're waving goodbye to our neighbor 
as they're on their way to wherever they're going. And just feeling a nice rotation of our trunk, a nice weight shift from one leg to the other. Letting the breath come however it comes, just notice how it comes. And so this is like the movement, watching clouds pass or cloud hands, whatever you want to call it, but our palms are facing away and it might feel a little different. So if you'd like to experience it the other way, experience the difference, just let your palm face you as it moves across in front of your face. And you might do one movement with your palm facing in, and you can do another movement with your palm facing out just to feel the difference in the quality of sensation, just noticing those subtle differences. So we were dreaming and then we woke up and we took a shower and we opened our curtains and we saw our neighbor was in need. So we offered some support, some assistance and now we're sending good vibes as they're off on their way. And so as your hand comes down and around, we can inhale the arm up, step the feet a little closer together and then exhale your hands down the front of your body and all the way down to the sides. Just let your arms relax. Take a moment to just stand, to feel. Notice the sensation of your alignment within gravity. Notice the sensation of your breath moving into and through your body. And notice the focus of your mind. So Qigong practice helps us to amplify and discharge our field. Amplified fields lead to expanded states of consciousness. Expanded states of consciousness give us access to potentialities that we might not otherwise know existed. And so that could be a different way of standing, a different kind of posture that could be breathing into areas of our body that we might normally be tight or holding or restricting. Being able to have access to insights, thoughts, and feelings that otherwise would never have a chance to emerge. So resting in this expanded state, in this expanded field of potential, knowing that we are all capable of bringing this state on anytime we want to, anywhere we need to, and totally for free. Let's bring our hands together again and rub our palms. Notice the sensation of your palms if they feel different than the first time you rub them together. And then if you'd like, again, you can massage your face up and down or chi massage your face up and down back and forth over the top of the head a couple times, down the back of the neck and around, over the chest, the lungs, the heart, the abdomen. We can bring our hands around our waists to the low back and the area of the kidneys. And then we can draw our hands out and shake them out. And then let's pat up the outside of one arm and then around and down the inside. Little tap to the fingertips and let's do the other side. Up the outside and around and down the inside. 
And then coming around to the back and let's pat down the back of the legs, around and up the front. One more time. Little shake and breathe. <sighs> All right. So that was a super simple, silly little Qigong practice. And any piece of that whether it's one of the movements that we did, whether it's all of them, whether it's just rubbing your hands together and rubbing your face or rubbing your head, whether it's just taking a deep breath into the shape of your body and engaging your body and then exhaling and relaxing your body, any one of those things counts as Qigong. Any one of those things gives you access to the health and immune and spiritual benefits of this practice. And again, it's not hard. It doesn't have to take long. All that is required is that we do it. So thank you so much for practicing with me today, for doing this, for practicing together, for helping to establish this bigger field of coherence that extends beyond us as individuals, but includes really all of us practicing together and, and ideally the whole planet, the whole universe. Let's go big with our intentions. So again, thank you for taking the time to practice Qigong and, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>